Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miriam, and today. Today, baby, we have ourselves a D shell seafood boil. D shell seafood boil. We have colossal, well, yeah, we have super colossal shrimp. We have sausage, kibasa sausage, corn on the cob, limes, um, of course, that king crab. King crab and I made my own Smackalicious beloved sauce. I made her copycat recipe, and um, I'm so hungry. I re you already know it's gonna be so good, cause this never gets old. This is the part two of the Q and A. This is the part two. I'm so hyped about it. I hope I got to a lot of you all's questions. Um, I hope I've answered some of you all's questions that you were kind of dying to know. Um, but anyway, I said my grace off camera. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get in her. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right. Let's get this scrimps. And what we gonna do? Drip, 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 dripping in that sauce. Oh, drip, 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 dripping in that sauce. Oh my gosh. Because that sauce she made a mouse. Because that sauce she made a. There's nothing like a D shell boil because all the work is done. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. It is so good. <clears throat> now the sauce I made, it is super spicy. I'm not a spicy girl, but I made it super, super spicy. So don't be surprised if this gets quite messy. Mm. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm put some lime juice all over it. It's going to take a whole one, half a one and just, oh baby. Yeah. I'm telling you it was good. Oh my goodness. This never gets old, at least not for me. It doesn't. Mm. It's so good. <clears throat> I don't know how I do. Mm, 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 mm. Shrimp. Mm. Yeah. It's like I very seldom touch like the potatoes. I love corn. I'm not a potato girl at all. I'm pretty much. I eat it, but I love rice. I love rice and tortillas. Mmm. 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 Corn's good and sweet. It's so good. Mmm. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Mmm. I know you guys are like, where is the recipe? I know. No recipe. Mm. Because ooh. I know this video will be pretty lengthy. You know? Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh god. Baby, there it is. <clears throat> On the side here, I have 
some chipotle mayo. I love this with seafood. I truly, truly love this stuff with seafood. <clears throat> so if you see me dipping, that's what I'm dipping into. You can put that stuff on burgers, fries or whatever. But I particularly love it with seafood. Oh mm, gosh. I will eat half of one potato. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So how was your New Year's? How was your New Year's? Mom was so good. So good. Mine was so good. <clears throat> A friend of mine and I went to the casino. I'm not one for gambling. I'm not a glam gambler. I paid twenty dollars. I played twenty bucks. And when it's done, it's done. That's how I am. I hate being in the negative. I don't want to be in the negative. I don't want to be in the hole. But it was more fun than anything. I hope you guys checked out some of my pictures on um, IG. I don't consider myself a fashion person, but I kind of I kind of start to I don't know get into it a little bit. Putting kind of like different outfits and stuff together. No fashionista whatsoever. Whatsoever. I'm not a fashionista, but I do like to, you know, kind of look pretty decent. Mm. When I started my channel, and some of you would notice me out. In the community and everything my friend was like you need to start keeping your stuff tight and start i was like all offended and everything but i was like you know what you're right because <laughs> i was all about a t-shirt and some leggings or t-shirt and a pair of jeans you know just kind of no fashion i'm no fashion girl i'm still not I actually have more shoes than I have to, than I have clothes. Anyway, I'm rambling on. We're going. Excuse me. We're going to get into the Q and A. I haven't even put a dent into this food. Okay. But I'm so hungry. Mmm. I know, silly. I know. Come on, baby. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Mmm. I did. Never gets old. It never gets old for me. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> so from keeping this video with me super long. And just like the other Q and A, I typically just just film right on through and don't do any cuts about 90 to 95% of the time. But with this, you'll probably see me do a lot of cuts in the video, so. Uh, you know what time it is, okay? Mm. Oh gosh. Mm. Okay. From just wondering for the Q&A, which professional chef do you admire the most? Um, Bobby Flay. Always have, even since I was a younger girl. I admire um, Bobby Flay. 
His skills are almost impeccable. <clears throat> he's fast, he's quick, he's unique, he's different. He can come up with different items. You take something traditional, and that's what I want to be able to do, to take something that's traditional and then revamp it into something totally different. Totally different. So body flag would be him. Next question. From Miss Ruby Rorig. Hello. When is that cookbook coming out? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, I'm looking for 2021. When in 2021 this year? I have no idea. But um, I knew that 2021, I wanted to vamp things up by getting my Facebook, getting merch out, as well as um, getting the cookbook out. So 2021, I was just like, okay, enough, girl. You know, you've been doing this for going on three years. Let's try to um, amp it up a little bit, you know what I mean? And give you guys the things that you've been asking for. From Brandon Ceres, what did your colleagues had to say about you having such a huge YouTube channel? Um, most of them are very supportive. Um, you, you have, you know, the negative comments that, especially when I first started, um, some of the ne negative comments and people not for it and everything like that. But I mean, some of them comments were rude and you know who you are if you're watching. But for the most part, the, the, my colleagues that were really close to were very supportive, very shocked. They were even wondering why I would even mention anything to them because when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't tell anybody about it. I told no one that I had a YouTube channel. Not my sister, not my parents, not, um, the only person that knew was the guy I was dating at the time. So they're very, very supportive and they, they love it. Um, I get text messages from time to time here and there about some recipes that they tried and all that kind of stuff. So they, they love it. They're, they're super supportive. From Kiara Williams, uh, for the Q and A, have you ever thought about opening up your own food shop? It has been a thought. Will I do it? No. Um, some people even mentioned just do a food truck. Should I, I should open my own restaurant. I don't want to do that. And this is the reason why I don't, when you, when you do a restaurant, you become management and, um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to become management. You, you have to worry about payroll, workman's comp. Um, do I have enough staffing for today? You become management role. And I love to cook. Well, I love to eat, number one. But I love to cook. So I didn't want that to change. I don't want that to change. And granted, I know we all need to set ourselves up for the future, set, our, set ourselves up for retirement. But owning a restaurant was something... That I know right now that I don't want to do. Because if you look at my channel, most of my meals are in pre <clears throat> preparation for a family of four to six. None of my meals are like on a grande type level, you know? Because people even ask what I cater and all that kind of stuff. No. And when I have family gatherings, I typically will make like a large dish or a large meal, but mm -mm. restaurant as of right now, no, but I would love to do something like how Miss Peggy LaBelle does with her pies. I would love to do something with a particular special dish that I won't mention because I'm hoping or maybe in the next two to three years that I can be able to patent that and do it. So we'll see. Moving on. Next question. From Sandra Butts. What made you get into cooking these adorable recipes? Um, a lot of people were very receptive to it. When I started ASMR, I would cook a lot of my own food. Well, I started with like fast food and then I started cooking my own food. But then once I showed the recipe of how to cook my own food, of what I was cooking and eating, 
that like really took off and the subscribers just came and they came more and more. So it became more and more of an interest. And then I got a, I basically kind of sort of got away of ASMR and started doing the mukbangs because it seemed like people enjoyed me talking more. So that's where that came from. Moving on, next question. From IDXP underscore you, how was your childhood and how old are you? I am 39 years old, born April of 81. And my childhood was very, very strict. I'm a PK. So growing up, it was mainly my sister and I who are 10 months apart. I've had her on the channel a couple of times. It was mainly her and I. Um, my older brother is... I got married when he was young but my dad was strict when i mean strict i'm not if you don't have any friends i'm your friend i mean strict like we didn't go over to people's houses by the time we got to high school people stopped inviting us to like parties and get togethers and stuff because they knew we weren't gonna come because my dad was so strict i remember one time like a few of my friends just came by our house and i was like oh my god they're gonna die <laughs> get out of here please save yourself <laughs> because i just my dad was just like so strict i was a pk girl and the baby when i got grown sure if he only knew but we'll save that for another video okay moving on next question question from trice what's your favorite stores to shop at also What's the best city that you've traveled to and why? Um, my favorite stores. Um, I've been coming into fashion and stuff, but most of my shopping have been done online. I love Fashion to Vigor. And probably even more than that, I love Fashion Nova because I love their jeans. Their jeans are perfect fit for plus size women. And at least for me, I'm a plus size woman. Um, I'm, a, I'm a 2X, honey. I don't care. I'm a 2X. And I love, love, love Fashion Nova jeans. I also, you know, I do Macy's and I do Walmart, okay, every day, all day. And because if I like it, I'm going to buy it. I don't care where it's coming from. I don't care if it comes from Dollar General, Family Dollar, Roses. Um, it's Fashion Metro, honey. Um, fashion of Figure, Torrid. I do love tour, but I think they are so expensive. They're so expensive. And um, those are the, my main stores that I particularly go to around the clock. And, of course, Amazon. Amazon.com. It's like every week something comes to my house, Am Amazon, from Amazon. And I'm like, what is it now? <laughs> Thank God for Prime, okay? Next question. From Grace Hobson, where do you see yourself in 10 years? P.S. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Um, in 10 years, I pray that I want to still be doing YouTube, but things in social media change and they change rapidly. So I want to be in preparation now for my future. Hopefully somebody then put a ring on it. Okay. Um, within 10, well, <laughs> within two years. Hopefully somebody put a ring on it. But anyway, that's a different topic. Um, so I'm hoping that whatever I launch will be successful. You know, some we have, you know, you have uh, YouTubers like, what is his name? Uh, James Charles. You have YouTubers like James Charles who has launched his makeup line and it is highly successful and i would love to have a product or the product that i'm thinking of be in stores like all across the u.s and just kind of set myself up for retirement kind of go from there um married um if my significant other has children you know we'll be happy vacationing um and hopefully we'll be covid free and we'll, you know, just, we'll just see what happens, you know. From Miss Natalie Russell, what is your ultimate favorite song that you love to sing in church? His Eye is on the Sparrow. That's my favorite song. From Miss Evelyn Lozano, so you mentioned that your mother has passed, but you often refer to mom says, 
is this your stepmother yes it is my stepmother um my stepmother has been in my life well over half my life my mother died when i was 11. my dad remarried at when i was 13 years old so i don't refer to her as stepmom we are she, that's my mom and she has helped raise me she had a strong helping hand at raising me part of what i'm doing as far as in cooking and everything probably wouldn't be partially would not be so i'm so grateful for her i'm so grateful for her you know i love her so 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 much so yes that's what i'm referring to from your nightmare what countries would you like to visit i would love to go to italy i just want some pizza you know what i'm saying i just want some pizza i would love to go to italy and i would love to go any country in the west indies where whether it be Barbados, um, St. Lucia. I would love to go somewhere in the West Indies as well. Um, the, especially, you know, down there in the West Indies, the water is so beautiful and the food and the people and the culture is so beautiful and they're so warm and welcoming from what I understand. But I would love to go to um, a country in the West Indies as well as Italy. From Anya Cooper, what is your favorite item to make and what is the hardest thing you ever make oh my favorite item to make happens to be partially anything seafood P particularly anything seafood is uh like my favorite thing to make but um the hardest thing to make is fried rice i just i don't get me wrong when i make it it's good it's really really good but when i go to those hibachi restaurants and i get their rice I'm just like, oh, I wish mine could taste like this. So something that's very, very simple that most people will find very, very easy. And I would watch them. I will go to those hibachi restaurants and watch them cook this rice. And I'll do the same thing. And it does not taste the same. So um, believe it or not, something simple like fried rice is probably one of the hardest things that I can make. Um, when I make my soul food platters and Jamaican platters, it's lengthy you know the beta tacos it's lengthy but it's not difficult at least not for me it's not difficult but it's just lengthy you know beta tacos i i do it over a course of like two days like a day and a half um something that has to freeze or be in the refrigerator or marinate for four and five hours it's not that it's difficult but it's just long in time moving on from miss nyla burns are you seeing anyone yes I am seeing someone he's very very special and I love him I love him truly I truly do he owns my heart and um, we'll see what happens in the future but <laughs> I've been seeing this person and I truly love him he you know he owns my heart he owns my heart next to God he owns the rest of it so um, moving on and a lot of you <laughs> moving on from Alicia Moffitt, I'm from Maryland, Baltimore County area. Do you prefer Maryland blue crab or king crab? Because I've seen you eat both. Also, what is your favorite Maryland crab themed meal? My favorite, let's do that second question first. My favorite Maryland crab themed meal um, has to be anything with like, that involves crab cakes. I love Maryland crab cakes. But the more I make them myself, I prefer my crab cakes versus the restaurants that I go to. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm telling you, the more you cook your food, the more you become so biased about your own food and how food tastes. So, um, as long as it's like a nice crab cake dinner with some, even though I'm not a potato girl, I love a loaded potato with bacon and cheese and chives. And then um, with a side of like, with some fried shrimp. Oh. Ooh, that is so good it is so good and then what was the other part of that question do I prefer Maryland uh, crab or king crab both um, I've learned I can when it <clears throat> with blue crab I love it with crab cakes of course with blue crab I prefer crab dip crab cakes and all that kind of stuff but to sit there and to crack open the cr blue crabs and sit there like usually during the summer you would have crabs where you ordered like a, a couple dozen or like a 
a half a bushel and you'll have that like two or three times a month. I haven't done that in probably this past summer at all. Like I've been loving king crab. I've been loving king crab so much. I have not done that. And so I think we had once, I think we had blue crabs once and I was just like, mm, it's okay, it's good. But you know, when it comes to my crab cakes and my crab dip baby, that's what I want. Got to have it. So I would say both, but in different ways. Always when it comes to a boil, cause I eat cream crab off a of camera, like all the time, like probably once at least every other week. I I love it. I crave I start to crave it. So but yeah. Let's move on to the next question, baby. From Liberty Dixon, what brand of lipstick do you wear? It's incredible how you can eat and wipe your mouth and the color stays on perfectly. I know. I had I went I went to the bathroom and I used this by Maybelline. Can you see it? Come on, focus. Can you focus on me, baby? Baby, can you? Anyway, um, it is Maybelline Superstay. This is all I use. Pretty, I won't say all I use, but 90% of the time, this is the lipstick I have. I have probably about six different colors. And this is color, which I currently have on right now. This is the color number 40. But it's Maybelline Superstay. I love this. It's a matte lipstick. Of course, like when I have to take it off, I have to use a, a makeup wipe most times to um, take it off unless I'm doing some kissing. Ow. <laughs> Moving on. Um, some of you want to know some, like, some demographics. I should have did this in the beginning. You know, my name is Miriam. I like my... Middle name is Samantha, Miriam Samantha. I was born April of 81. I know I should put this in the front, but I probably won't um, because I took care of this in the last video. But my favorite color is black. I love the color black because you can hide all so much when you need to hide it. Um, I'm a nurse, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for eight years. I uh, worked telemetry during the pandemic um some people ask about how i feel about the vaccine they said it's either best to do one or two things get vaccinated or actually catch covid 19 to build up immunity in your system um we are, our bodies you know when you catch a cold it's a virus um and once you get your very first cold you'll always have a cold but the symptoms are just basically kind of submerged and um so it's it's your your body starts to build up um that's all i have guys that's all i have i am full i know i barely put a dent into it but i am full and what i do with leftovers people always ask that baby i give them away i know i give them away a good depends on depending on what it is depends on what it is since um the pandemic i haven't given as much food away as i used to um but Probably before the pandemic was a good 80% of the time I gave everything that you saw on my camera, I gave it away. I might make a small plate for myself, but that's about it. But this, baby, <laughs> I'm keeping all this. All of it. All of it. If you are new to the channel, baby, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being a part of the fam. If you haven't already, please, please follow me on IG. Um, it's it's so good. Eighty one. Please follow me up there. I I want my IG to be a more personal, uh, a personal page where you kind of get to see a little bit of my personality, get to see what I kind of want to do, how my looks might change in fashion. I hope they can get better. And with my fashion people out there, give me your pointers, honey. Tell me what to do. I'm not a makeup girl. You know what I mean? I I put it on. This is mostly what I wear going to church, going out the door, going to a party. But um, for New Year's, I decided to get that face beat, honey. I mean, got that face beat. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. So, that's really it. I'm full. And um, I love you all. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.